Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to make the cart table and the add to cart option in our Django e-commerce. So let's get started with it. So previously we had made this login and register system. So once the user is logged in, he will be able to add the products to his cart. So now you are clicking add to cart. There is no action being performed over here. So let us make that now. So in our models.py file, first we will be creating the cart model class cart and models.model. And here we will be having four fields. So one will be the user. So which user this product in the cart belongs to. So that thing we will be storing over here. So this is going to be a foreign key and the model name is going to be user. We are not going to use this. Remove. And on delete, we will just leave it to cascade. And why is this showing an error? Okay, this has to be in lowercase. Yeah, there is two over here. Yes. So similarly, we will be having for the product also. Let's say product equal to foreign key. And the model name is going to be product. So the one which is over here, product. And just remove this thing. And the same thing on delete, we are just leaving it to cascade. And then we will be having the product quantity. Product QTY equal to, this is going to be an integer field. And here we will be specifying null equal to false and blank equal to false and lastly we'll be having the created at equals and this is going to be a date time field and this thing we're just going to keep auto now add yeah and turn that to true So that's it. We will be having this cart table. So now let us just register that in the admin.py file. So here we'll just copy and paste admin.site.register and our model name is cart. And you can close this file. Now you can just run the migration command. Open your terminal like this. And here we're going to say py manage dot py make migrations hit enter and here it is create model cart now let us migrate this py manage dot py migrate and here it is applying store and it is okay so it's done so you can check that in your database as well So in your Django Ecom database, here you have got your store cart. So you have your four fields, user ID, product ID, created that and product quantity. So let's get back to the code and close the terminal. And now we are going back to the views. I mean the product view page in the product view.html and we will also be using the custom.js so that is inside static js custom.js save and i'll just close my sidebar and zoom in yeah so here guys you can see you have the add to cart button right so on clicking this add to cart button we need to store the product id and the product quantity in our cart so for that we'll just start with adding a class over here add to cart button copy that and go to your custom.js file and here you can create jq click and the selector put a dot and paste your class name so make sure guys you are adding this dot so if it is a class name you have to put dot over here or if you have given id then you can use the hash symbol over here so on click we require the product id so let us just echo that over here 
say input type equal to hidden input type equal to hidden and the value is equal to you are going to print the product id so we can just take it from here products dot id and you need to give a class name to this class equal to say product id prod id and one more thing we need to give this product quantity right so we already have the class name over here quantity input so we have got the quantity and the product id so now we will be sending the post request through ajax so on click we will be sending the ajax request so we are sending a post data right so for that we require csr token or else it is going to give a 419 error so for that you just give, have to give over here csr of token and we will fetch the value of this using jquery itself so let's get back to the custom.js file so here we are going to create a variable called where product id product id equals jqval and here in the selector we had to give the product id right so here it is and paste so this way you can fetch the product id but one more thing over here when we are showing multiple products then if you click on one add to cart all the product id is visible on that page right so that time you will get an error so we will be building this code in such a way that you can use it over here also in the single product view as well as in the multiple product view so let me just show you here okay so here if you want to give directly add to cut button or in the future we will be making the trending section or here so all the trending products will be over here and if you want to add to cut directly from here itself that time you will have multiple products right so which product id this has to take it will get confused and you will get an error so for that we have a solution so here in the top I will just add a class name over here called product data and here we will just change this a little bit say this dot closest so in the closest we need to give that class name which we just put over there that is the product data so make sure you're giving in the class not the name name attribute okay so paste that closest of this and we need to find find the product id and get that value okay so this way you will get your product id and so now we need to get the product quantity and the user so user we will just take it in the controller itself where we are writing the code to insert so here only the product id and the product quantity we need to take so let's say product qty equals just copy and paste the same thing and we will just change the class name so instead of product id we have the quantity input right yeah qty input and paste it over here so you got that and now we will write the ajax call jq ajax and method is going to be a post method post and url we will be creating a url with the name like add to cart this is two yeah add to cart and in this data let's remove this thing and open curly braces and here we will be specifying three things that is the product id and the value for that is the variable which we have here product id comma product quantity the product quantity yes so we need to specify the csr of middleware token over here so that the server will know that it is an authorized post request so for that we need to specify a field over here csrf middleware token and the value for this i will just create it over here copy this and paste over here where token equals 
here we are just going to fetch it from the input name so here we are not able to see the code i'll just show you in the browser refresh put your collections and here you can inspect and you can see it over here we have it above this right csrf token yeah you can see here name equal to csrf middleware token so just you can copy that and here in the custom.js we'll say jqval and just type over here input and within square brackets say name equal to the name of that input tag so here in the output you can see input type hidden name equal to csrf middleware token so this name i am specifying it over here so the value of this it will take an assign to this token and we are passing that to the csr of middleware token so now let us create a url let's add to cart so go to your urls.py file and here we will be creating the paths related to the cart now paste that add to cart just check once yeah Add to cart, copy that and paste. Add to cart. And here we will be creating the cart controller to handle all the operations related to the cart. So just comment this for now. So if you remember, we had created a folder over here called controller in which we had all our views file. So yeah, so this was for the authentication purpose so the login register and logout thing is over here so let us create the cart controller so inside our controller folder just right click new file and say cart.py and the same thing what we had in the auth view just import this two lines copy and paste and back to the urls so here we are going to import that first auth view and cart so here i'm going to say cart dot add to cart and give a name to this add add to cart so we'll be creating a function with this name in the cart page yeah here let's say and pass the request so here we will be checking first if the request method is a post method or get method say if request dot method is equal to post then we'll be performing some actions else we're just going to redirect to the home page just say return redirect to the home page yeah and now if the request is a post method we need to check if the user is authenticated or not so if request dot user dot is authenticated then we are going to perform some action else we are going to return a json response else return json response within curly braces just specify this name that is status and the message say login to continue and why is this error okay you're not written the if thing right so if the user is authenticated then what we are going to do is we are going to fetch the product id and the product quantity so say product underscore id equal to request dot post dot get and here we need to specify the input name so this thing your product id paste and this might return it as a string sometimes so we'll just convert it to integer so first let us check if any product exists with this id so we are going to create a variable over here product check equals call your product model 
product dot objects dot get where id equal to product id and then we are going to check if product check so if it is true then we are going to perform actions else return json response and again the same thing we'll just give the status and the message no such product found so this is to understand clearly why we are getting this error so if you are in the production environment you can directly give a standard error over here something went wrong so if the user tries to inspect and change the id only then this condition is going to work and then if product check if the product exists we are going to check if the user has already added the product in his cart so for that it is going to have an if condition over here if cart dot objects dot filter where user is equal to request dot user dot id and the product id yeah so this is the column in our cart table product id is equal to our product underscore id if this condition becomes true so why is this showing an error cart is not defined let us just import that import cart yeah so if this becomes true we will be returning a json response copy and paste and the message we are going to give product already in cart okay and if it is not present in our cart then we will add the product to our cart so to add the product we require the product id and the quantity so we have already taken the product id now we will fetch the product qty equals integer of request dot post dot get and here we need to give the name of that thing yeah product qty copy that and paste it over here so now we will be checking if the product's quantity which the user has requested is less than or equal to the number of stocks available for that particular product so if the user is requesting five of that product and we have only three available stock of that product then we are going to show him messages that only this many is uh, available for this product so let us implement that say if the prod check yeah so if product check dot quantity we have already got the product uh, data over here in our product check variable so if product check dot quantity is greater than or equal to the requested quantity so that is in this product quantity variable yeah so if it is greater than this then we are going to add it to our database cart dot objects dot create and here we are going to pass the user equal to request dot user and the product id equals the prod id and the product qty product qty is equal to prod qty yeah so we have given all the values over here so now we are going to return a json response just copy that and paste and here we are going to say product added successfully else so for this condition the else part if the product quantity is less than the requested quantity so we are going to return a response telling that only and here we are going to concatenate that value i would say plus str of prod check product check dot quantity okay so we are going to print that 
and concatenate the message along with that only this number of quantity is available so if it is three then it's going to only three quantity available available yeah save and I'll just put a space over here so that's it so we have an if else and yeah so for each if we have an else to handle the exceptions so if this is not true then we have the else thing yeah so save and now let us just test it oh, and refresh and I'll open my database in my cart you can see it is empty over here and let me say add to cart so we haven't given in the JS file so here in this success let me just console log console log the response this data type is not required over here save and now let us check refresh click add to cart okay so it says login to continue so let us just put this in the alertify alertify dot success a response dot status so refresh and now when I click add to cart you can see login to continue let's just minimize this and I'll just log in with my other user I'm logging in now so yeah logged in successfully now let us go to the collections mobiles and now when I say add to cart see product added successfully and we've got that over here now let us check our cart table so you can see over here we have got the record in our cart table so now when I click it again you can see product already in cart and we have not got any duplicate records so if you want to increase the quantity so we can directly give that in the cart so we'll be creating the cart page over here we'll just add a nav item for that and in the cart we will have all the product list and you can increment the quantity from there so we'll just test this other thing which we had the quantity thing right so if the quantity is less than the available stock then it has to add if the quantity the requested quantity is greater than the available stock then it has to show us a message so redmi k20 pro where is it redmi k20 pro here it is so this is the stock right yeah i'll make it to two and now I'll refresh i'm just selecting three it's already saying product already in cart so it's not even checking that so we will reduce the stock for other product redmi note 7 pro i'll make that to two go back and redmi note 7 pro i will select three quantity and set to cart only two quantity available so if you give two it will add successfully and now when you just check out right so when we are checking out when we place the order that time we will reduce the stock from the database so other user is not able to add it to his cart because the stock is not available right so we will not be able to fulfill that order so now if i add it again once again you can see product already in cart and in our database you can see in our cart table we will be having two records now so one was for the first product and the other one is the other note 7 pro which was the second product so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the add to cart in our django e-commerce so in the next video we will be seeing how to make the cart view page so we will be opening the cart page and all the products in our cart will be visible over there with the remove button and the quantity increment and decrement button so that's it in this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you